Breast cancer is the commonest cancer that affects women. In the UK, just under 60,000 women will be diagnosed with breast cancer each year, and in the US, it's just under 400,000. Although the outcome from breast cancer continues to improve, around 32 people per day die from the disease. Today, I'm going to talk about the proven approaches to detect breast cancer. Hi, my name is Dr. Tasha and I'm a breast surgeon, here to help you navigate the world of health in general and breast health specifically. Now, as a breast surgeon, I emphasize the importance of awareness as well as taking proactive measures. So here are the four critical methods for early breast cancer detection. Self-breast exam. A self-breast exam is a proactive way to get familiar with your breast and become aware of any changes. It's recommended to perform a self-breast examination once a month, ideally after your period ends if you are premenopausal, as this is when your breasts are less active and also less tender. Now, many people feel a little bit worried and concerned about examining their breasts, as they feel they don't know what they're feeling for and what they're looking out for. And the honest truth is, if there is an abnormality, you will feel it or see it. It's usually quite obvious. So don't worry about examining your breasts, just do it. And if you don't know how to do it, then check out this video I have made that will walk you step by step on how to do a breast examination the correct way. And I will also leave the link down below so you can check it out. So why is doing a self breast examination important? Well, it empowers you to take charge of your breast health. And it also, as I said, it allows you to get to know what your normal is. And so any change or anything that's new, you'll be able to detect and then get early checkup with your doctor. And so this takes us to the next approach is by seeing a doctor and have a clinical breast examination. Getting to know your normal is really important. However, breast exams are performed by healthcare professionals all the time, and they have the expertise to detect abnormalities that may be missed during self-examination. A doctor and ultimately a breast specialist would have had training in doing a clinical breast examination. They would have seen many patients and so will be able to detect subtle changes that may not have been picked up. And that is why the advice is always the same. If you notice anything unusual, new or different to your normal, then get it checked out by a medical professional. The next proven approach to detect breast cancer is by having imaging. So first, let's talk about ultrasound scans. An ultrasound scan uses sound waves to create an image of your breast tissue, and it's particularly useful for differentiating between solid lumps, which could be cancerous, not all the time though, and fluid-filled cysts, which are usually benign. So not only are they used for targeted examination for looking at specific areas of concern detected by a physical exam, but it is also used as a supplementary tool in conjunction with mammograms, if an abnormality is found. A mammogram is an X-ray of the breast tissue and it can detect abnormalities like lumps, masses or calcifications, sometimes even before they can be felt. So why is it important? Well, mammograms are the most effective tool for early detection of breast cancer. It allows intervention when the cancer is most treatable. And broadly speaking, there are two types of mammograms. Screening mammograms, and this is used to check for breast cancer in women who have no symptoms. It is considered the gold standard for breast cancer screening, particularly for women over a certain age. Although the recommendations vary depending on individual risk factors as well as where you live. And then we have diagnostic mammograms. And these are used to investigate suspicious breast changes or to follow up on an abnormal finding from a screening mammogram. It's usually pretty straightforward and it is not painful, although some people think it is. Nowadays, it is very comfortable and it normally isn't too bad. The breast is placed on a flat plate and a second plate compresses the breast tissue. And this compression is required to get a clear image and minimizes radiation exposure. And the whole process typically takes about 10 minutes or so. Now, some of you may be wondering about MRI scans. And yes, MRIs do have a role. However, 
It is usually used in conjunction with mammogram as well as ultrasound scans. For example, in lobular cancers, as well as cancers that are not particularly visible on mammograms. And so regular self-examination, clinical breast examination, mammograms and ultrasound scans are practices that are very important in breast cancer detection. I hope you have found this helpful and I'll see you in the next one.